uh, praise God. Uh, nowadays, we in WhatsApp, Facebook, and many social media, we see this verse coming being posted by many. Jeremiah seven thirty two, and they say that the prophecy in that verse is being fulfilled, and this place uh, Tophet is in Italy, and many people are dying due to the present pandemic, and. Uh, and I wanted to also verify and found some some truth, which is uh, which is that this place in Italy is does not refer to the same place in Jeremiah seven thirty two. And uh, so I would like you to hear the full audio, so that you can also know the reasons and the supporting data and evidence. Uh, I have given the links I have read and uh, used to create this audio as well mm, of course bible too uh, i would like to approach this from two views one is uh, two ways okay one way is from from the bible and the second way is real life evidence okay first i would like to uh, go through the bible okay uh, so taking the verse we cannot go just by one verse Okay, well, taking one verse and exaggerating that it can really lead to a very different interpretation. We need to really read the verses above what it says and to take this particular verse in that context. Reading the whole chapter will really help. So Jeremiah is a prophet who was uh, prophesizing during uh, this time of uh, approximately 628 to 588 BC. Uh, in in the times of Josiah to Zedekiah kings kings of Judah and uh, also initial captivity period okay and he was always prophesizing on the theme of judgment God's judgment we can see in uh, two kings chapters twenty two to twenty five okay the Old Testament uh, of the Bible has been written in Hebrew we all know that most of us know that and the Tophet word uh, place mentioned in Bible is just outside the walls of Jerusalem city and uh, it's in Judah okay uh, uh, actually the word means uh, a drum and also it, it also means to burn okay I will tell you uh, more details regarding this meaning a little ahead mm. Okay, and actually there are three different valleys uh, just outside Jerusalem city and many scholars believe the, uh, the valley, this valley, the, the uh, valley of son of Hino, which where Tophet is, uh, is one of the valleys. And uh, it has been prophesied in Jer Jeremiah 7 that it will be called as valley of slaughter. Actually, if you read Jeremiah 19 verses 1 to 6, the same judgment upon Tophet and the valley of son of Hinnom is repeated again shortly uh, in a brief manner. And Jeremiah 19 verses 2 practically says the place, it basically says uh, the valley of the son of Hinnom which is by the entry of east gate, east gate of the wall of Jerusalem. So it's clearly in Judah in Jerusalem okay and uh, to know more about Tophet and to understand why this prophecy was given uh, or this judgment was given you know Tophet uh, the people and the king of Judah they uh, they built high places in, in Tophet in, in that valley of uh, son of Hino uh, high places or such worship places which are uh, built and dedicated to pagan gods, uh, rituals, burning of incenses, sacrifices and offerings happen in that place. Which uh, So these are, these are basically idolatry, idol worship. And Jews who have been revealed who God is, the true God is, the kings of Jews are doing this in such uh, high places. High places doesn't mean only hilltops, they, they are also in valleys. Okay, and uh, you know what happened? Uh, Jews built these high places in Tophet 
and they sacrificed their own children. Some of the Jews sacrificed their own children, sons and daughters. They burnt alive for pagan gods like Baal, Molech, etc. And that's why the, the Tophet, which means to burn, makes sense. It's also called a fireplace where the children were burnt and the place Tophet means to burn. Uh, another meaning of Tophet is also drum, you know. The, a drum-like instrument is like constantly beaten there so that the cries of the children will not be, will be overcovered by the drum sounds. So see the meaning, the, <laughs> the drum, the, the fireplace to burn and uh, like children burning alive, drums used to cover their, their cry sounds. No. And you know what happened if you read uh, 2 Kings was, uh, chapter 20, 23, 10. King Josiah clears this place. He destroys this place, this high place in Tophet. It's clearly written, both Tophet and Valley of uh, uh, Shinomar, son of Shinom are written, mentioned. Okay, let's now see Jeremiah 7, verse by verse, so that we can understand Jeremiah 7, 32 clearly. Jeremiah 7 verses 1 to clearly refer to Judah. Judah is clearly mentioned. It starts that all these things are being mentioned to Judah. Okay. Verses 3 to 7 says, God says to Judah to, through Jeremiah okay, to amend their sinful ways. Mm, these verses even list their sins. And they say, if you amend the, your ways, then I will allow you to dwell in this land which I have given to your fathers forever. Verses 8 to 10 says, God has seen these things which Jews have done. And verses 11 to 15 gives even an example of uh, a place, a city, Shiloh, which, were wicked, which was wicked and how God destroyed them. And he says, similar consequence and judgment will come upon you. If, uh, because you have not heard when I spoke and you didn't answer when I called. Verses 16 to 20 says, God will not hear any prayer for these people because they, they provoked uh, his anger and he will destroy them, the, the beast and the trees in that place as well. Verses 21 to 27 says, I only, God says, I only sought obedience to my word. And my commandments and I didn't sought, uh, want burnt offerings and sacrifices and um, he also said like you were these people were stiff-necked and didn't hear my servants the prophets verses 28 to 31 says it is to Judah okay that this nation did not obey nor re receive corruption uh, nor receive correction okay and truth has perished there will be cry and lament because god has rejected and forsaken this generation if you see verse 30 it mentions judah again okay uh, like it shows it's this the all these verses in jeremiah 7 is for judah like jews have set abominations god says jews have set jews have set abominations in my house and has built high places in Tophet where children are burnt alive, which God didn't command, which he didn't command. And we saw about uh, Tophet, the valley of son of Hinnom, and what has been going through, as the verse says. And because of all these verses from verse 1 to 31, now Jeremiah 7.32 says like, the place of Tophet will be called Valley of Sla Slaughter and many people will die and they will be eaten by birds and beasts, their corpses will be eaten. And then further it says, the voices of mirth, gladness, bridegroom and bride will cease in Judah and streets of Jerusalem because the land will become desolate, meaning no one will be in, in that land, it will become empty. <sighs> yeah, so... If you read Jeremiah 7 properly from verses 1 to 34 and also Jeremiah 19 verses 1 to 6 and 2 Kings 23, 10, if you connect all these, it's very clear it's not a place in Italy, but it's a place in Judah, just outside Jerusalem city and the, the judgment which is going to come uh, prophesies through Jeremiah. 
Now let's go to the real life evidence. If you see Italy, uh, the, how they have been affected by the present pandemic, uh, by region, region wise, it's Northern Italy, which is, which has been very highly affected. And if you uh, see where Tofet is, it, it is in the Southern Italy, uh, in a province or a region called Sicily, and in an area or a district called uh, Trapani. Okay. Uh, the the big uh, region of Sicily uh, has only around 2,000 cases and not many deaths compared to other regions of Italy. Actually, Sicily has uh, one of the lowest uh, uh, cases and deaths in Italy. Uh, if you you can look up the description link I have given uh, for that as well. Uh, so by these two. Uh, the real life evidence and biblical evidence, it's very clear that Tophet is not the same place uh, which is mentioned uh, in Jeremiah 7.32. Uh, it's not a place in Italy, but it's a place uh, in, in Judah at that time and uh, just outside Jerusalem. I have also... You must have also seen pictures in this in this uh, video uh, so you can you can also share this truth with people okay and let us not uh, uh, share let us study the Bible regarding uh, false prophecies because Berians in the, in the Bible they heard many things but they also verified with the word let us also be like Berians and not uh, not uh, believing in uh, things whatever people say but to verify with the bible so jesus loves you jesus died for us so uh, it, it's it's in him alone the salvation is god bless you amen